Hello, hello beautiful Libra and welcome into my channel, The Rare Gazelle. My name is Reem and welcome into your reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus, Libra um, or anyone for that matter. If you come across my readings, I trust that there is something in here for you no matter your sign, okay? Um, I got the message that your past is your guide. I also did your scrying channel messages on the 23rd of October, so 23 of 2023, so 23, 23 is in your space. I also got the number 210, which could also be symbolic of February 10th of 2024. Um, I also am getting now the year 2010. There could have been something significant for you on 2010. Um, a cycle, an event, some kind of experience that you had in 2010. I'm also getting, um, so February 10th of 2024 is also 1024, which is October 24th or October 2024. There are so many layers of time is what I felt for you. And um, it's really, it's fascinating because we had the spirit of time energy come out in your previous reading or the reading that we did before. The reading that we did before for you i don't know if it was the, the most recent one but um i kept getting like a layer of time a timeline layered on top of one another it's kind of like a cake or like a sandwich of time um but i saw things like the energy of time was stacking like your timelines were stacking i'm also now seeing a staircase um definitely higher than energy ascension awakening but um, your past is guiding you. Your past is actually guiding you through timelines until you find the right one. I, I feel like you're aligning. You're aligning right now. Um, this is this is huge alignment. Um, you have had so many karmic endings, and these new beginnings that you feel are imminent for you are just waiting for you to select the right timeline that you want. You're trying to find the right frequency. Um, you're trying to find the right energy um, because there's a lot of like moving pieces right now. There's a lot of stacked energy, stacked timelines that you're kind of navigating and seeing, do I fit here? Do I fit there? I, I feel like in this reality, in so if I were to bring it down to earth, because I visualize energy and I'm just like, how do I say this to them in a re like in a in a in a real time perspective? You may be um, not fitting in with your friends. You may not be connecting or communicating well to others. You may be finding that you're doing something that you used to like that you don't like anymore. Um, you're just trying to find where you belong right now and you may feel like you belonged like you felt like you didn't belong and then you found a place that you did belong and then you had so many karmic endings that now you are like okay wait wait a second i actually don't belong here anymore and so now you may be noticing like you're you 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 want to do another job or you um want to connect with new, new people um, you feel like you need to move, whatever it may be, you're trying to find the right timeline of things, okay, energetically, um, but that's how it may be presented to you in your immediate reality, okay? And for those of you that can feel or see energy like I do, I feel like um, you can feel these stacked energies and stacked timelines in your past, your past experiences are guiding you through each one okay so everything that you have learned everything that you have gained your knowledge your intellect your experiences your past is guiding you through all of these timelines okay um so there's a lot of no's right now okay um because you're saying yes but you don't know exactly what you're saying yes to it's just you have to just like feel it out i'm sorry i know i talk a lot with my hands um because it's energy. I don't know. I feel it. I I'm also Middle Eastern, so it's just a thing. Um, I'm getting a lot of sun, judgment, high priestess energy, and then I got this like people pleaser energy from you, and I felt so okay. So on the twenty third, I went to bed, 
and I felt your energy come through with like a shadow. There was like a shadow aspect that was not healed associated to this people pleaser energy. And you people please because this shadow was connected to a lot of traumas and a lot of wounds. I'm sensing right now for you, you are transforming or you have already transformed this shadow of yours and it has completely ascended and transformed. And now this shadow aspect of yours is like defending you. It's your defender. It's saying no to the things that you are not aligned to and to the things that are your soul and your spirit are calling you towards, okay? So your shadow right now is your protector and is your defender, okay? You're no longer people pleasing, okay? Um, when it comes to love, when it comes to love, I see that for love, it happens when you say no. Um, the love of your life comes in after you've stood up for yourself. I'm seeing like you have wanted someone so badly, okay? Like this is the person that you thought was your person. This was someone that you have dreamt about, that you've always wanted to be with, that you have just thought the world of and all of a sudden you don't want them anymore and you're just like why do i not want this person anymore you you're finding yourself standing up for yourself you find yourself rejecting them i feel like they want you but you do not want them it's a really interesting tale um it's not you being petty i i, I don't feel like you're hurting them because they've hurt you it's just a matter of like you can feel the different of vibrations and you're just like Wow, I can't believe I've ever wanted you. It's just, I don't know, it's this it's a crazy energy. So <laughs> you guys are just <sighs> I love your energy. Okay. And I'm sorry if you can hear Bunny like growling at people. She's just not very neighborly, apparently. Um, uh, my dog Bunny. <laughs> so she's just she's watching. She's watching very carefully. She likes to sit at the corner of the bed and look outside on the balcony. So I apologize. I don't want to like close a window on her. This is her thing. So I apologize if you hear her. Okay. Thank you, Spirit of the Most High. Thank you to beautiful Libra. Thank you for allowing me to read for you today. Thank you for trusting me with your energy. Thank you, ancestors known and unknown. Thank you to my great grandmother Nyla, grandmother Sophia, and to my aunt who's now passed and transitioned into heaven. Thank you. I mean. It's so funny because I'm here getting uh, months and like no months came out and I'm just like, Reem, what are you doing? They're in a new timeline. Okay, so union is highlighted for you as well as career. Yeah, so I don't think they're not going to bring out any months because you, you, you're still picking which timeline you're on. So no months are going to come out. So. I try to get like months and dates for people. I channeled a bunch of like dates for you, but like again, it's up to you. Like, I don't know. There might have been something about yesterday, a shift. So when again, when I talk about shifts, shifts are energetic. There are uh, there needs to be a multitude of shifts that occur for actualized change, okay? Like material change. So shifts are energetic. Some people may feel like um, or see actualized changed during those shifts, but there's usually a multitude of shifts that occur for actualized change. Okay, so Spirit is highlighting some kind of union here, some kind of marriage, maybe a marriage, um, but your career is also highlighted. So let me just get some messages. I have to ground my energy. I'm going to start levitating. Okay, maybe Citrine is helpful for you guys. Um, someone needs to feel joy. Someone needs to feel joy. Yeah, celebration, fun, and enjoyment at the bottom. Yeah, someone definitely needs to feel joy. Maybe that's why I picked up that citrine. Happiness. Yeah, I, saw, I did. I saw the sun. Hey, okay, didn't this happen last time for you where it took forever for cards to come out? See, you're very picky. You're very picky. Mm, reconciliation, sorry. <laughs> what? Oh, see, I'm telling you with this energy, there's someone that wants you and you do not want them. And so I can feel this energy. Some of you may be eating a pineapple or that's like your favorite fruit. 
yeah, this is going to be, like, I was surprised when that card came out. I was just like, mm, because it's just, mm. Some of you have, like, watched tarot readings, wishing, praying. I, I just saw 10 one. Someone's birthday might have been um, October 1st. But um, some of you may have been like praying, wishing, wanting, desiring. You've been watching tarot readings. Um, will this person return? Will this per person return? I'm seeing like pick a card. Will this person return to me? Um, you have like dedicated time, spiritual energies, and focus on a person returning to you. They're going to return to you and you're going to say no. I can, I can feel this. This is what I channeled. I can feel it. I can feel it. I'm telling see you're very you're so picky are you kidding me these cards usually are just like boom, 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 flying out and yeah you're very selective I'm gonna go one more round and then okay there's one let me finish it because these are big. Anything else? Because <laughs> it's so selective. You're trying to pick the right timeline. You're trying to pick the right people, right job. When you say no, when you say no, it's like another thing is going to come in for you from another timeline, from another stacked timeline, okay? Wow, we have your horseshoe. Good luck. You saw me shuffling. You saw, you saw how many cards just didn't want to come out and then this one came out good luck someone else had the horseshoe um someone else had the horseshoe i forget who but i'm now i'm seeing a horseshoe necklace or a horseshoe tattoo but i'm seeing someone like wearing the horseshoe someone could have also been like ridden horses or something about the horse horse um, horse riding, horse, horseback riding. All right, let's get into your energy. <sighs> yeah, okay, hold on, because this is visually, this is visualization, okay? I, because I visualize energy. Open intuition, see clarification, but you see how you're so open? You see all these eyes that are open? You see all of them? They're open because you're, you're open to the timelines you're so open right now um your intuition is also open you can feel you may feel something or someone return before they even do i feel like you're kind of preparing yourself um but this is also like seek clarification i feel like you're getting a lot of clarification about the things that you need and the things that you want awaken spirit desire to change let me shuffle well, I'm curious. Let me see. Because I was at the bottom of the deck, but I want to shuffle. I want to see if cards are coming out for you. Like, because you're very selective. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I can feel it. Mindful wisdom, create inner harmony. 28 which is 10, it's at the bottom here. Clear and activate, create sacred space, number nine. Yeah, I wanna see if, if we can get one more. Libra, wow, some of you, um, this, is, this is complete clarification. You're gonna see, you're gonna see clearly what what you want. I feel like you already know, but I feel like a lot of you are working through this energy of opening, opening up your desires, your many desires, and being completely open to the timelines. And you are, I feel like you're you're becoming very clear. You're becoming very clear. <clears throat> your sight, your intuition is gonna heighten. Yeah, this is 28 and, <clears throat> oh my gosh, 28, 29, your throat chakra, maybe opening. 
But 28, 29, that's sequential energy. That's sequential numbers. So this is progression, movement forward. Yeah, see, some you're moving forward. Some of you do not want to go back. Like your soul is, your soul just has completely changed. Your spirit has changed. Your physical nature has changed. This is insane. Can, okay. Wow, Libra, you've got to be kidding me. You're so interesting right now. I'm not going to sit here. You hear me shuffling. I'm going to go to the next deck. Like, oh, you want what you want. You want what you want. It is what it is. You want what you want. And you have a strong hold on what it is that you want. If it's not there, see, no. That deck, no. That, no. You want what you want. It's almost like I'm getting this energy of like, I'll take this from this timeline. I'll take that from that timeline. I'll take that from that. But you're not like stepping in. You're just kind of like taking what you want or taking what you need. Because you're creating. You're creating inner harmony, but you're creating a world of harmony in your reality. Yeah, a tidy house, clarity and organization. Yeah, this is what you're doing. You're organizing. You're organizing. You're organizing energy. Yeah, see, ref a dream thief, refusal of, a, of the call. You're going to refuse someone. You're going to refuse someone. Just that word, refusal. Okay, let's see what wants to come out here. All right, thank you. Movement. <laughs> Closing door completion at the bottom of the deck. This is 5-5, five, 5-0-5, five, 5-5-5, five, oh, five, 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 50. Movement toward adventure, spirit of the river. This is also, um, I'm getting the month of January, maybe January 5th of next year what's at the bottom yeah closing door you're closing pathways you're closing timelines you're closing them you may be like opening them and then closing them open them closing closing that's your past is guiding you your experiences this is how you're moving through each timeline right now sorry if i'm shaking there's a lot of energy it's actually quite a nice adventure <laughs> I feel like you're having fun. I feel like you're calm. I feel like you're definitely in your power. You have definitely a, a sense of balance. Like, you're not... I don't see you, like, fumbling. Like, you're really kind of moving through this energy with grace. And careful consideration. You may be like Bunny right now, just watching. <laughs> just watching watching energies this is this is crazy i mean this has never happened before okay there we go there's one let me see if anything else no yeah the farther gate 55 so you could be seeing 555 five, five. wow horseman yeah more of this horse energy some of you may have a horse tattoo or there's something about okay your spirit totem animal is definitely a horse you have your number 30, Herald of Change. Okay, this is this is the way I'm seeing it, okay? Because I'm seeing again like I visualize energy. So like I'm seeing this is your this is your um your past. Okay, this is your past kind of like guiding you, okay, like through each timeline, okay, through each timeline right now, each of the stack timeline. As you say, as you say no. As you like maybe take something that you want from that timeline, but you're still kind of like navigating each with, with, with movement and grace and momentum. Okay. As you say no, it shifts you. It changes you. Okay. To like another, another step forward, another momentum, another movement. Every time you say no, every time you, you desire 
something, you're not seeing the manifestation of your desire, or you're not seeing the energy of that desire, it's, it's a no, right? So your past is guiding you through all of these timelines. Every no takes you a step further into the next. Okay, and that's this herald of change. That's the change. Okay, every movement toward a timeline, you either say yes or no, you say no, that's another change. Okay, do you see what I'm saying here? I'm seeing six of wands, I'm seeing victory. Someone does ribbon dancing. Ribbon dancing, I'm, I'm gonna go to the Akashic Tarot for a moment. And then we'll get into the tarot because I feel like the tarot is going to speak a lot more over these energies. But let's let's take a look here. Okay, the farther gate, bold step forward. Yeah, you feel very bold. This is this is happening very quickly too. Winged messengers, two of roses. I am going to take that because this is connected to uh, your love reading. Okay. Oh, okay, that came out fast. Yeah, intricacies and industry, seven of scrolls. Some of you, um, this is, set, wow, seven seventeen. Something about July 17th or the year 2017. The lookout. It's this tower energy. Let me get one more. It's possible. Yeah, see, you're, you're rebuilding here. You're rebuilding. Something is no more. Something is no more with the lookout. Like it's completely vanished. It's 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 burning, but it's like um it's purified. It's it's something is no more. Something is no more, and you're rebuilding here. Okay, you're rebuilding here, and you're rebuilding very meticulously. You're building a more solid foundation. The light of the world, number ten. <laughs> I just heard the hermit is calling. It could be connected to a Virgo or have Virgo in your chart. You hear paths unknown at the bottom. See, the timeline is unknown. The timeline that you're going to step into right now is unknown, but it's going to be the right timeline for you. I feel like there's many energies that are at your door, the light of the world. The hermit is calling. Why did they say that to me? The hermit is calling introspection hermit seeking within no I don't know what that means let me get into the tarot the hermit is calling what the light of the world I just saw the star I don't know. Let that download in and then we'll see. What? The golden egg just popped out. I don't know if you were dealing with the Virgo, but I keep hearing that. So, wow, the fool. Wow. <laughs> There's your energy right here. Yeah, you feel extremely, like, I, I see you. I just heard momentous. Something, something is very monumental here for you. Like, there's some kind of momentous change. Is that even a word? Momentous? Momental? Momentous. Momental. Sorry, I don't know. I, I just heard it. Um, yeah, you're starting fresh. This is new. Zero. Ground zero. I just on the number 100. 0, 10, 1, 1, 0, 0, 100. Number 100 is here for you. I don't know what that spiritual meaning of that number is. You might want to look it up. Oh my god, I keep hearing that. The hermit is calling. Some of you may get an unexpected visitor. 
Okay, so I'm seeing, okay, so this is really interesting. I'm seeing the, the divine, I'm seeing the divine using, um, using a, a human to interact with you in some kind of way. It's like an angel on earth kind of energy. I don't know if this is like in your line of work. I don't know if they're going to come through in a dream. But I see them like as a physical person. I don't know. I don't know if that's for everyone. That's very specific. You hear the seven of wands. Yeah, death, rebirth, transformation. You have here the rabbit. This is about being quick on your feet. Quick changes you fell right on, yep, and you have here the tower energy twice. Wow, the ten of cups. Wow. Ten, ten here. See, these are going to come out because these are tarot energies. The butterfly, wow. Wow. heard the path of your future, the path towards your future. You hear the octopus. Libra, please. There's that staircase I was seeing. Nine of Wands. There's that staircase from my visions. The unicorn. Yeah, there's something really like. Let's get one more card. There's something really like magical. Something that like is really hard for you to see is real, but it's real. The hermit is calling. Like you're, I don't know this. I don't know who that is. Like it, but I'm just, I'm getting this energy that like, yeah, the high priestess. I mean, no wonder, no wonder. The spider, the bear. This is you, okay. Sorry, one moment. You have five of wands. I feel like strength, Leo energy. I feel like there's something here with this, the light of the world. Like there's some kind of, there's definitely something going on with your crown chakra. Some kind of activation here. Because I'm seeing this person's crown is, is lit up. It looks like they're wearing... A hood but they're not that's a that's an aura around their crown kind of like this with the unicorn there's something like right here around them and then what's around like it looks like the moon behind the the unicorn but I see this as like an aura around the unicorn around this person an aura there's an aura around your crown right now the light of the world is is around your crown The light of the world. The light of the world is within you. The light of the world is is around your crown. I don't know what you guys are doing. This is someone's like divine purpose, like soul purpose. I feel like you're getting new downloads. I feel like that's why the her oh, thanks for it. <laughs> the hermit is calling. It's like Sorry, that took me a while. It's, um, the hermit is calling. Y you guys are getting new downloads. Okay, aside from, like, everything else that's going on here with your timeline change, um, and the stacked energies, the stacked energies of time, because I, I, I saw, like, the staircase, because you're ascending, you are reaching, like, the top of something here. You're, you're reaching the top. And then you get like a knock on the door. I'm seeing it visually, like visualizing energy here. And it's it's the hermit. The hermit is calling. It's a new guide. Sorry. It took me a while. It's a new guide. You're going to be receiving new information here. You're open to receive this information now with the seven of wands. I don't see like you blocked it. 
before in your past I just see like you just weren't ready yet but now you're ready because of this transformation that you're undergoing spirit saying this is going to be a really fast transformation for you okay sorry if I'm shaking there's a lot of energy with you so this is going to be a very quick tower it's going to be a very quick change a very quick transformation here they're very fast changes okay herald of change the horse energy okay these changes are going to feel like good luck these changes are going to feel like good luck Okay, and as you're going through the, 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 the timelines, as you're going through the timelines, you're also going through these changes, and then you're also awakening, receiving a new guide, getting new downloaded information. There's layers. Okay, we're talking about layers. Stacked energy. Okay. Um, all in all, this is, this is making you really happy. Okay, I see, again, remember I was saying like, lighthearted time, joy, like this is, this is, this is going to feel like a fresh start, but you're starting it, you're starting with your desires met, you're starting with happiness, you're starting with joy, okay, you're starting this path with like everything that you need, okay, you're starting something feeling happy, you're starting with your desires so that's the way you're starting this this next cycle this next timeline of yours you're stepping into this timeline with your desires intact with your desires met feeling fulfilled does that make sense okay yeah you're going to be receiving a bunch of information here with the octopus see the crown of the octopus i just i just that just sunk in right now for me that that iridescent color on the on the brain right Sorry again about my hand movements. Apparently, I really bother people with that, but this is who I am. Um, yeah, this is who you are, the unicorn. Um, you're coming into some unique gifts here, okay? These are going to be very unique downloads, very unique gifts. Um, they're saying be strong. Your intuition is going to get stronger, but they're saying be strong because five of wands. Some of you might be battling something here. What is this five of wands? Um, I'm seeing like something coming undone. This feels external. This feels like something else. I don't know could be connected to this person because I, I I keep looking at that winged messenger you're viewing something differently here something's coming undone the way you saw this person is coming undone yeah the owl again yeah you're seeing you're seeing someone very differently they've like come undone to you uh, okay we're gonna get into your love reading okay because this is what this is they're saying be strong when you when you when you connect to this person because you're seeing this person very differently. Okay, so the way I'm seeing it is like the way you visualize them before, the way you like put them on a pedestal, the way that you 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 saw them as being the one. Okay, now the energy when you look at this person, their energy like almost like disperses. Okay, and like you can see each piece, you can see each element, you can see each you can see each energy of this person and like something clicks for you and you just start to see them very differently as well as like having different emotions for them does that make sense so you're the butterfly like you've completely transformed out of how you used to feel about this person okay you're gonna start to see like their energy is going to disperse like I keep seeing that like with the five of wands it's almost like you're going to see each segment of themselves like you're gonna you're gonna see oh how do I say <laughs> how do I say that how do I bring that down to earth like you're gonna start to see 
okay, for example, like, you're going to start to hear their words. You're going to, like, pick up on their words. And, like, you're not going to, like, analyze every word that they say, but, like, even their words become, like, clear. You're going to almost, like, see the intention behind the word. Yeah, you're going to see the intention behind their words. You're going to see the intentions behind their actions. You're going to see who they really are. It's almost like you're picking apart this person energetically, but not in like a malicious way. Does that make sense? Like you're just kind of like picking them apart. But you're going to see for what it, for what it is. And they're not like a bad person. I don't think I don't see them as being a bad person at all. It's not like I'm not picking up on that. It's just you have yeah, you have a different appreciation for yourself. 15. This is also six, but we also had one and five here. 15, 15, right? You have a new appreciation for yourself. You've completely transformed out of these feelings, out of these emotions because of the love that you have for yourself. And everything that you have gone through, you just don't look at them the same. You don't look at them the same. Your needs have gone elsewhere. Your desires have gone elsewhere. Your timeline is over there. There or there. It's like you can just see, you can see everything about it. Does that make sense? Like you, have, you have a different appreciation for yourself too. Angel of strength. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm creating a tower moment here. Um, you have here the strength twice. Strength twice. You have the strength to like face this person or like you have the strength to say no to this person. Again with 50. Some of you could be 50 years old. 50-50, 50-50, fair, right? Your justice, fair, it's 50-50. Could also be like, I don't know, 50-50? Something is split down the middle? No? This is the seeing fairness. I'm seeing fairness. The temple path, yeah, you're just, you're following, look at this walking away. I can't make this up. You're going towards a temple path and more, see more in the staircase, more of that staircase energy that I kept seeing. This is your purpose. Okay. This card talks about all about your soul's purpose that we just talked about. Okay. And your, your ascension, your timeline change. This is, this could also be 12, 12, 27. This could be December, December 27. You're just walking to, walking away. I, mean, I, I can feel it. You don't want this person anymore. You thought the world of them. Oh my God, you did. You thought this person was going to be your Ten of Cups. But you're so satisfied. Yeah, look, woman holding a heart. This could be you. Okay. Female or male, gender specific. This, female or male, doesn't matter. Okay. You're just holding your heart. You have a, such a deep appreciation for yourself. Patience. Look, door to romance. Look, the sun. I wrote here the sun. So I take a picture of my um, channeled messages, scrying messages, and I post them on that community page. As well as on my Instagram. You can follow me on, on my Instagram. I'm also doing personal readings. Sorry, I didn't say that in my intro. I'm not used to saying all this stuff. Um in the description box below if you want to book a reading with me <laughs> the sun okay and you have here patience patience door to romance okay you have a new romance here what did i say yes look at this it happens when you say no the love of your life comes in after you've stood up for yourself walking away okay you have here patience this is divine timing this card is on 1010, the clock. 
Okay, 1010. Sorry, that was a real up close on my nails. Um, I'm not getting my nails done for a while because I'm just letting them breathe. <laughs> well, letting them heal. Okay, let's get into the tarot. <sighs> a lot of owls. Okay, your spirit totem animals I'm seeing are horses and owls. Could also be lions here with the strength card. And the angel of strength here twice and the sun, Leo energy. Could have Leo in your chart. You could be connected to a Leo or connecting. Some of you could be 33. Okay. One more. Okay, for Libra. So selective. I love it. You deserve to be selective. Five of swords. See, look at you. Look at you and look at them. You're, you're going towards the door to romance. You're going towards that seated table. You're going to sit down there with someone else. Not this person that you thought the world of. Not this person that you thought you were going to reconcile with and have your Ten of cup, Cups with. Like I said, started out in the reading. You, you may have watched tarot on this person for months, maybe even for years. You've desired this person for so long. You don't have that desire anymore. You look at them so differently. They're just wounded. They're just a shadow. Some of them may have may just be a shadow of themselves. Like they're just not the same person anymore. Or you have just transformed to this level here with the butterfly and this appreciation for yourself that you know what you deserve now. It's just you you see you 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 see differently. You see differently now. I feel like a lot of you are just, some of you may have already gone through this. Some of you are going to go through this. So again, depending on what timeline that you're on, yeah, the Hierophant, knowledge, give new knowledge about, yeah, look at you, the Empress, are you kidding me? I'm so sorry that was loud. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do that. The Empress, okay. Again with this owl, You just have this like heightened awareness and knowledge and intuition and strength and transformative frequencies and enlightenment and you, you're, I, I can't say it any other way. You're, you're just so selective. You're the empress. You have this newfound appreciation for yourself. You're aligning to someone else. Some of you, again, like I was saying, you may have already, like this person may have already tried to reconcile with you and you, and you said no. Some of you, this is going to happen real soon because of that tower, the two tower energies that we saw and the, 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 this message. I feel like some of you are approaching this energy where this person is going to reconcile with you and you're going to say no to them. As soon as that happens, the clock of patience is gonna start. I'm seeing another clock start. I'm seeing another timer start. Because one timer ended, right? We saw that completion card. One time ended, timeline. One, you said no to this timeline. Another timeline started. It starts ticking. And where is it, where is it ticking to? This other door to romance. This seat at the table this new beginning yeah you have a, yeah the sun can't make it up you can't the sun twice i wrote here the sun on october 23rd the sun judgment oh yeah and i wrote down high priestess high priestess you're gonna be very happy this is also joy this is happiness success 
two major arcanas back to back. Remember what I said, these changes, these energies may feel like good luck, but they're not good luck. It's alignment. You're aligning. And it's also not necessarily good luck because of all the hard work that you've done. You hear King of Pentacles. It came out in the, wow, okay. It came up in the reverse as King of Pentacles. So um, some of you definitely could have dealt, yeah, look at the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, three of wands. You just know that there's something better. <sighs> the lovers and the two of cups. Are you kidding me? It came up in the upright position. Lovers, two of swords, and the moon. Yeah, you're just waiting. See, look, the hermit. But you're not waiting like low vibrationally. I feel like, yeah, see, eight of cups walking away. Some of you may be seeing ladybugs or lady lady beetles. There's a high priestess again. High priestess. Okay. Let me let me bring this let me bring this towards you, okay? Cuz all these cards came out. Okay, you got the king of Pen pentacles in the reverse. I feel like you're seeing the the offerings of this person when they come forward to you. Okay? I feel like you're going to start, you're, you're going to get a clear picture. Spirit is going to give you this, this cl clear picture, but also not just spirit. This is your energy. You're illuminating this light with everything that we talked about in the, in the first half of the reading. Okay. If you haven't watched it, highly recommend that you do, because I feel like this is a direct continuation and growth of, of your energy. <laughs> um, I feel like you're seeing exactly what this person has to offer you and it's just not it's just not what you want anymore. I feel like you're going to see um the, the ground that they stand on is just not your resonance anymore. You just don't resonate there anymore. It's not that I don't see this person as stable or um incapable of providing stability or security. I actually see them they do. They do. They have all the potential in the world, and they have they they have um, stability, but the way I'm reading this energy that's coming forward in your space that you're presenting it to me is you're not resonating there anymore. Your energy is not there anymore. You're not there. You're going there. You're not here where they are and like I feel like you just you you have never thought that you would ever walk away from this person you never thought that you would ever walk away I feel like they're even going to take this as a, as a shock as a surprise I feel like with the two of swords like they don't see this coming here especially with the moon like they never thought that you would turn your back on them and walk away look at look at all look at your back turned to this person are you kidding me because you're not seeing them anymore in the way that you used to see them Remember what I said, there's a six of wands energy with that horseman. Here's a six of wands. You're you're recognizing your future. You're recognizing the 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 bounty of your future, the energy of your future. That's what you're recognizing here. You're recognizing that this person is not your future as you once thought. There's actually something better, spirit is saying. And what you're saying too, this is what you're telling me. Six of Wands, Three of Wands, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. And the Hermit and the Lovers. Remember what I said the Hermit is calling? Some of you might actually be dealing with the Hermit energy. So a Virgo energy. But I, I see like maybe the Hermit of Self is calling. Maybe like you're calling yourself to just kind of isolate to sit away and enjoy the the energy that you're resonating and to enjoy the timeline that you are in 
alone before you come together with someone else. There's something about experiencing this timeline alone before this energy comes in because patience is here. And then the construction just started and I'm, I'm, I'm finishing up this reading. Thank God, because that construction is so annoying. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but do you see, this is the spirit is saying and advising you. Enjoy this timeline that you have said yes to, that you have aligned to, that you have been so selective over. Okay? Enjoy it for yourself first before this person comes in for you. I feel like you're going to be glad that you enjoyed it by yourself for a little bit. Okay? You're basking in your energy. You're basking in your light of the world. You're basking in your success and your happiness and your joy. It's almost like the hermit is calling you to just feel it all. Feel it all for yourself first because you're not going to be alone. You're not going to be alone for long. So feel it all yourself first. Enjoy it. And then you can enjoy the success with someone. You can enjoy the sun. You can enjoy the sun with this person. This is someone new. I don't see, I, okay? This is not the person that you thought it was. It's not them. And you know it isn't. This is, they're just not what you want anymore. This is what I have for you. This is what I have. I love you guys so very much. Like, again, I'm open for personal readings. Um, if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, please do so. Um, my, my website is in the description box down below. Um, there is a, about a two month wait time, but, um, don't let that wait list get too long. So if you're interested, please put in your inquiry and I will get to you when I can. I love you guys so very much, Libra. Um, thank you again. Okay. Until next time.